Jigglypuff is well regarded as being one of the worst characters in Smash Ultimate. Game. As a Puff main throughout the entirety of Smash 4, I immediately dropped Puff when Ultimate released for a better character. <coughs> However, Puff's seductive call kept ringing, and like any emotionally abusive relationship, I found myself crawling back, willing to give the little bastard a second chance. Was it worth it? Eh, I mean... Puff has improved, but she could definitely be better. So, bearing the burden as a Puff main, here are some reasonable changes that I believe could make Puff a good character. Jigglypuff currently has the second highest airspeed in Smash Ultimate, right behind Yoshi. Puff is incredibly slow on the ground, but her movement speed in the air combined with her multiple jumps gives her pretty good mobility. She can definitely get where she needs to go. However, I think increasing Puff's airspeed would help improve her approach options and would make it easier for her to weave in and out of her opponent's attacks. This mobility buff could help accommodate her less than stellar range. Puff's grab is a joke. The range is tiny and Puff has no throw follow-ups. Forward throw was made better in a recent patch. The angle it sends at is lower than before, making it a good option for getting the opponent off stage and setting up for an edge guard. But I mean, getting some sort of follow up out of grab would be nice for how crummy it is in the first place, you know? Up throw rest anyone? Listen, I get the joke is that Puff's a balloon and she pops, but does this really need to happen? No matter how much damage Puff has, she just dies if her shield is broken. Can we, like, just not have that? This character is already incredibly frail and dies super early in most circumstances. This is just pouring salt in the wound. The biggest flaw holding Jigglypuff back is her range. Puff struggles against any character with disjoints, so basically anyone with a sword is a pain for her to deal with. She can't do much with those tiny feet, you know? So what I'm saying is, give Puff disjoints. They don't need to be as good as Melee is. But there are some matchups where Puff can't do anything in her current state. Like, what are you supposed to do against Shulk? He just has a big sword. Like, how, how, how do you get in? Rest is an incredibly flawed move. The fact that you can be punished for landing rest is just dumb. The dev team tried to mitigate this by allowing you to cancel out of the sleep animation early, but if an opponent is quick enough, they can land an attack before you wake up. And at higher percents, this just means you die. One way to prevent this from happening would be to alter the type of KO given by rest. In Smash, there are three types of KOs that can occur when launching your opponent off the top of the stage. A normal KO, a screen KO, and a star KO. The normal KO kills the opponent instantly with no special animation, while the screen and star KOs take longer to play out. If rest always resulted in a screen or star KO, this would greatly improve rest safety since the sleep animation would always end before the opponent respawns. I can't stop talking about rest, huh? So rest does this thing where it tacks on extra damage to the opponent if it doesn't kill. But nobody uses rest to tack on damage. If you're using rest, you're using it knowing it will kill. So that extra damage is pointless in most circumstances. In the Pokemon games, rest is a healing move. So I'd like to propose the Smash version of Rest be made more like its Pokemon series counterpart. Let's get rid of the tact on damage and make Rest heal Puff when landing it. Damage healed by Rest would equal half of your opponent's damage when they were hit. Meaning if your opponent is at 100% when you land Rest, Puff would be healed for 50%. The healing would occur only when this move hits and rewards the player for killing when the opponent is at a higher percent. Do you try to kill with rest as early as possible? Do you let your opponent live longer and hopefully heal more damage? This would further play on the risk versus reward mechanic of rest. Most of Puff's rest setups don't work past 60% of most characters anyway, so I think this is probably maybe a fair change. Sing is well regarded as being one of Puff's worst moves. In its current state, Sing is only really used in tech or jab lock situations. In these instances, it can be really useful, but the hitbox can sometimes be janky and unreliable. When Hero joined the fight as the third DLC character, 
he brought with him numerous spells from Dragon Quest. One of these spells is Snooze, and like Sing, it puts the opponent to sleep. However, unlike Sing, it can put aerial opponents to sleep. It would be a welcomed change if Puff Sing could have the same effect. Jumping off stage with Sing to edge guard and seeing your opponent plummet to their death would be pretty hilarious. Rollout is well regarded as being one of Puff's worst moves, but remember Sonic's side B cancelling in Smash 4? I want that. Also, make it so you can jump with it. Also, make Rollout a multi-hit. Basically, just copy Sonic's Smash 4 side B and put it onto Puff. It would also be really cool if you could combo it into Rest. Yoshi is well regarded for his frame 3 Nair. This move allows him to easily break out of combos, and isn't annoying in the slightest. In contrast, Puff's frame 6 Nair is twice as slow, and while the hitbox lasts 3 times as long, it would be really fun if Puff also had a frame 3 Nair. But I think we can do better than that. Puff deserves better than Yoshi, because who mains Yoshi anyway? Like, nobody likes fighting against Yoshi, Yoshi means like, just eat crayons. Like, come on, th this character is just... Nobody likes him. So yeah, let's just scrap that last change and give Puff a frame 2 Nair instead. Now, I know what you've been thinking. Making rollout Sonic Smash 4 side B would be broken and not fun to fight against. So, let's scrap that change and replace rollout with metronome. In the Pokemon games, Metronome is a move that selects a random attack from a pool of every single Pokemon move. Basically, this move will be like Hero's Hocus Pocus, but it will select a random special move from a pool of every Smash character. And to stay true to Puff, our improved rollout will be among the moves in the pool as well. Sword characters are well regarded for being some of the best characters in the game. If you have a sword, you're a good character like 90% of the time. Like I said earlier, Puff really struggles against swords, so let's just get rid of him. Think of how much more fun Ultimate would be without swords. Y'all already complain about too many swords anyway. Arsene is well regarded as being one of the best characters in the game. While Puff already has a comeback mechanic in the form of rest, I have already explained how flawed that move is. So let's just give Puff meter. Now, it might be weird to give Puff Arsene, so I'm suggesting Wigglytuff appears as a replacement that serves the same function. Puff would gain more range, more damage output, and because Wigglytuff also serves as a comeback mechanic, when Wigglytuff is active, Rest would be replaced with a counter. To compensate for this replacement of Rest, this counter would also have the same power and knockback as Rest. The last thing you'd want in your legal stage list is someone's foot fungus. Unless you're Puff. I think we should legalize the Burger King foot lettuce stage because Puff actually does really really well on it. Like, you can just camp on the top platform the entire game and your opponent, like, really can't do anything about it. Jigglypuff is well regarded as being one of the best characters in Melee. So just play Melee! Go back to Melee, you cowards! So that just about does it. As a Puff main, I know what's best for my character and the meta, so I think giving Puff these changes will at least shoot her into the top of mid-tier. 